guys, welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. I'm Shawnee. And I'm Chris. And we're Shawnee and Chris. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be making some food together. Yes. What kind of food are we making? Breakfast sandwiches. What kind of breakfast sandwiches? <laughs> breakfast sandwiches with... The, let me just tell the people, okay? All right. So Chris and I are on a mission to eat healthier. So we decided we're going to try to pre-make some of our breakfast sandwiches so we can grab and go. So shout out to Google and YouTube. I got this idea for some egg white turkey bacon sandwiches. So if you want to learn how to make it, this is going to be a real fast video and should be really quick to rewarm up in the morning. Um, stay tuned. And we'll make sure to have all the items listed in the description below with links to where you can get it. All right. So, all right. So first, the egg whites. Real simple, y'all. We got some egg whites from Whole Foods. And we just gonna put it in the pan. We're gonna put it, oh wait, we didn't even preheat our oven. First, no, first, wash your hands. That's the first thing. Now we already washed our hands. What does it need to be preheated to? I don't know, let's do 350. We, we, this is the first time we're doing this, so we just go with the flow. But um, we washed our hands off camera, so don't come for us, our hands are Did clean. we? You'll never know. No. Nah, <laughs> it's a good thing we're the ones eating it. <laughs> and our child. Corn not gonna eat this. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this pan with some olive oil, right? So the eggs don't stick. And then Shouldn't I- Shouldn't you hit the sides? No, I don't, should I? Okay, let me do the sides too, I don't know. I've never, I've never baked an egg, baked eggs before, but they said you should bake the eggs and put a little bit of cheese in it so that it like sticks and it also isn't as dry. Anywho, so I got some egg whites. Are you putting the whole carton in? Uh, yeah. Ooh, whoops. You do one and I do one. So, because you're cooking too. We're cooking. I'll go first. Together. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Yes. This does not look good. <laughs> this looks like something else. But we're child friendly, so we're not going to say what we're thinking. No, it looks fine. Okay, so you think I should do another, do the other one to make it like a thick piece of egg? Or do you think one is no, good enough? No, that's going to be thick enough. You think it's going to be thick enough? Yes. All right, so we're going to do one. Okay, guys, now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Yeah. You can good. put whatever seasoning. God, that's a lot of salt. That's not okay, that much salt. relax. You can put whatever seasoning you want. And then I'm going to put some of this cheese in there. I would like to live to see 40. Okay. All right. You want to want to sprinkle it sure. since you didn't touch the bag? I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. Put some more. <laughs> Put some more, babe. Stop be. Take a lot. You put it too little. Hold on. The, the oven got a preheat. Let me kill some time, lady. Oh, what Lord. are we rushing for? Don't nobody want to watch us sprinkle cheese no for <laughs> ten seconds for this long. We got to entertain the people. Put a handful. Uh, it's supposed, uh, uh, uh. This is a fast, quick video. Okay. Okay. Is that enough cheese? No. Put a little bit more. You want dry eggs? You barely, you're, you're doing like baby cheeses. Put some in that corner. Okay. Put a little there. bit more. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think that's this is enough. good. Okay. So that's what the egg white cheese thing looks like. This doesn't look very appetizing, but we're going to hope it tastes good. Yeah. All right, so we have our egg white souffle ready to be baked. We're gonna put that right here, y'all. What are we gonna do next? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I just washed my hands again. And just so y'all know, we wash our hands in between these things, okay, so I can touch stuff. But next is laying out the turkey bacon. Go ahead and lay it here. But why are we using turkey bacon? And what other meats can people use? <laughs> You're being so annoying. <laughs> We're using turkey bacon because it's what's in our fridge. You can use regular like pork bacon, you can use sausages, turkey or pork or veggie sausage. I prefer sausage. pork, but... I don't eat pork sausage, bacon, so this is what we use it. Um, Why don't you eat pork? Fridge. Do you think because we went to Blue Ridge a couple weeks ago and that had something to do? So I, first of all, I, I don't 
pigs are gross. Pigs eat everything. Like they put everything in their mouth. Pigs will eat moldy bread. And I'm not trying to eat. If you're going to be fed moldy bread, why would I eat you? That's disgusting. But when you cook it, it kills off any impurities. Does it though? Let's put one more bacon okay, on there. I got you. I want. I want to do it. You did all of them. I'll put it on there. Okay. So we've laid out our turkey bacon. Okay. So that is gonna go into the oven once it is preheated. Y'all, this is so easy. We're gonna go ahead and get our bread prepped and ready to go while the oven is still preheating because we forgot to do that ahead of time. And what kind of bread is this? So I got some English muffins, but I got the Ezekiel bread, which is, um, it's like flourless bread. Because like I said, we're trying to do better with our eating habits. And I like the Ezekiel bread, so I think it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna put these on um, individual aluminum foil wrappers thingy, so they're ready to go. Be right back. Okay, so I'm just laying out these really cute individual wrapper things. Foil sheets? Foil sheets. I think we have six muffins, so we'll take out six of them. All right, assistant, assistant. You're already working, assistant. Assistant, <laughs> I'm not you the can assistant. prep your three and I'll do my three. Your mama's the assistant. Your daddy the assistant. And what? Done. <laughs> you have to open it, these aren't pre-cut? Oh, I guess they are. You gotta open it so you can put your... Um, meat in it? Yeah, your meat and your egg. <laughs> I really hope these taste good and we actually eat it. I'm gonna eat it because I've never had this before. I spent my coins on this, so I'm gonna eat it. I didn't have a say in this. <laughs> With inflation the way it is, you better close your eyes and <laughs> nope. act like it's a cinnamon roll and eat That's it. That's disgusting. <laughs> How come you're breaking here so easily? What am I doing? Because I'm wrong? a man. Are you, is it coming across even? Don't make it look sloppy. Oh my gosh. Why? Why am I going so slow? I want it to be perfect. Okay, one. And now you guys see why she's the assistant. Mine is perfect. No, look at look at mine. Look how beautifully cut this is. Show them yours. Oh, raggedy. It's raggedy. Right. No, show them this one. No, show them this one. You're trying to hide. <laughs> see, look at <laughs> no. Don't touch. Don't touch. I seen you, you wash didn't... wash your hands. Don't I touch my side over here. Anyway. You didn't even open the, so do we need to wrap this or something special? <laughs> you already asked that. <laughs> You're so annoying. Chris, we already asked about the wrap it and I told you you gotta wait for the meat. Now let me just explain to you why. Why? <laughs> You're so, get <laughs> off of me. You're so annoying. <laughs> you, got, you don't toast them. You don't toast them beforehand because it's gonna, you gotta, or I can't even explain this to you because this don't make no sense. I can't believe you don't understand why. When you're ready, you the wake up in the morning. people might not understand. All right, so we're going to freeze these, right? Put this in the I oven. know we're freezing them. Yeah, we're going to. Yes, if you make them in bulk, you can't leave this in the refrigerator all week. That's, that's gross. Put them in the, um, put this in the oven. So we could have just bought pre-made no, because sandwiches. Pre no, you don't know what they put in there to preserve it. They put food in it. You don't know what kind of bread they use. How much extra sodium is in that stuff. They use the fluffy kind. And plus this is also more cost effective um, to do it yourself. How, uh, how long are we baking this? I don't know, to the ancestors tell us to stop. <clears throat> I don't think my ancestors ate this, so <laughs> I don't know if your Jamaican ancestors ate this <laughs> or not, so I don't think they're going to have any input on this. Okay, We're no, okay. okay. So let me tell you how it works. So you make them, if you, well, you want to put them in the fridge, you can because you only have three for yourself. So the thought is you make them, you put them in the freezer the night before or the morning, whenever. The night before you put them in the fridge, right, for the next day so they can defrost. In the morning, mm. you just grab it and you put it in your toaster oven. And it mm. warms it in the, in the aluminum foil and then it mm. comes out nice and warm because oh. everything is cooked nice, you know what I mean? Or if you want to microwave, you take out the aluminum foil and I think you just wrap it like, you know how those sliders, you can wrap in a paper towel mm -hmm. and they warm? You take it out, wrap it in a paper towel, put it in the microwave. The wife mm. think it probably would taste better if you put it in the toaster oven in the aluminum foil. 
So me, I have agree. a toaster oven at work. I just pop it in there while I'm doing other things. That's and funny. I got a toaster oven at work as well. Your house? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so that's why it's like really effective because who has time when it, with mm. kids or just in general, who has time to wake up, toast the bread, fry an egg, fry some bacon, make a sandwich? Don't anybody doing all that? I'm sure tons of people have time. Well, I'm not doing that. We don't have time for that. By that, what you're gonna probably do is end up ordering Uber Eats, um, Einstein, not Einstein bagels. What's that bagel place you like to eat? The bagel place? Yeah, you you would be ordering food. So this is to make us eat healthier as well as be mindful of our wallets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let us go ahead and be right back. We're gonna let this stuff cook and then we're gonna assemble, wrap, be done. So unfortunately, our original footage could not be found. My beautiful and wonderful wife was able to recreate this scene. She cooked everything from scratch. I was not present, so I'm not sure. Hopefully she did wash her hands. As you can see, the turkey bacon is nice and crispy. She is cutting into the cheese egg whites. Let's observe this technique. Look at those surgeon hands at work. Oh yeah. I believe she is now prepping the spatula so she can put it on the English muffins. My assumptions were correct. She is, in fact, placing the cut egg onto the English muffin. As we observe, she is now adding the turkey bacon. She's breaking it in half so that it's nice and spread even over the sandwich. Look at that technique. Well, if all else fails, if this YouTube doesn't work out for us, it looks like we can always get hired at McDonald's. Good job, babe. She's placing the top on, and that is a beautiful and delicious sandwich. Wrap it up in foil and prep it for the refrigerator where we freeze it. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. We made our yummy delicious sandwiches, a total of six. Three for him, three for me. Mine's will be better. Um, so. It's exactly the same ingredients, but okay. Okay, but mine was wrapped better than his. I would not have She was wasteful, bread. so if you want to come after her in the comments, please feel free. Okay, you win. Anyways, so if you feel motivated to do this, which we hope you are, let us know how it comes out. Um, I think the total time of like actually putting stuff together was five minutes. We just had to wait for the oven to cook most of the things. And what I read says that you can store these in the freezer and then the night before you need them, so like the night before work, you take one out, put it in the refrigerator so that in the morning you just grab it and go. So when you're warming it, you can put it in the aluminum foil in a toaster oven uh, for maybe like five to 10 minutes. And then if you're gonna microwave it, you take it out of the wrapper and like wrap it in a paper towel and microwave Why is it that? for a few seconds. That's because you don't microwave aluminum foil. Or any type of metal. Exactly. So, thank y'all so much for watching this. We hope you liked it. We're gonna come back with some more random videos again of us doing some random things. And thanks for sticking out with us, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See you in the next one.